Welcome back. You're still watching Newslink on DSTV Channel 403. Now, the suspension of a Stellenbosch University student involved in an alleged racist incident is being seen by many as light punishment. Many are calling for his expulsion. The student could be seen on camera urinating on another student's belongings after breaking into the student's residence in the early hours of Sunday morning. The university has instituted an investigation into the incident. ENCA's Ronald Masinda is following developments for us and joins us now. Good morning, Ronald. You know, there is, of course, justified outrage over this incident. We understand, though, that now beyond the suspension, some are, in fact, calling for his expulsion. Talk to me about this. So quite a number of organizations all calling for the expulsion of this individual. What we do know, though, is that the Stellenbosch University is conducting its own investigation. They have suspended this individual. Uh, but we could also hear talks, uh, Fundo, about people calling for criminal charges to be implemented against this particular individual. But what we heard earlier this morning from the Stellenbosch University is that they are also uh, allowing this uh, victim to receive much needed counseling. And also, uh, the, he was also given a laptop computer. Of course, that was also one of the items that were urinated on. But here on campus, things seem to be normal for now. We are joined by a couple of students. I'll be speaking to George Yonker. He's a third year education student. George, thank you so much for your time. Describe for us what the past 24 hours have been like is there fear among other students? There was absolute madness, to be honest. Um, there was a WhatsApp group that we actually all belong to, um, and someone posted like an update on that, uh, where they shared like the video itself and like the small communi uh, communicative thing that was sent from um, Stellenbosch University. But it was just panic. Um, there was immediately like a petition signed of I think 25,000 people or something. So yeah, it was just like hyped up, and especially us education students, uh, I mean, we need to stand together and actually. Um, we need to talk about this because these are usually the things that is uncomfortable to talk about. So we definitely need to just address it and, and see what the outcomes can be. Um, and obviously for the best outcome to be possible, we need to stand together. Has it in a way sown divisions among black and white students? Do you feel that you are divided at this stage? Uh, not at all. Um, I think this has more to do with the fact that we need to stand together as, um, as a university itself, um, with students especially. Um, so although there are some aspects that were a bit iffy um, at the start, it's definitely not a racial thing between us. Um, I think we need to stand together as, as much as possible at this time. So. Are you calling for this particular individual to be suspended or expelled eventually? We yeah. know he's suspended. Definitely expelled. Um, again, as I said, we got that communicative thing from the university um, saying that he was suspended, but I don't think that's, that's a solution at all. Um, his actions should be justified accordingly, so yeah, definitely expulsion. And just in your view, I mean, you've studied here for three years now. Does this particular incident come as a surprise? Because we've heard from several um, other organizations saying that quite a number of these uh, incidents are not reported. I think that there are more incidents similar to this than we realize. Um, in the last three years, I've heard personally about six or seven of them, um, but I think that it happens on a daily basis, if you ask me, um, especially with the whole sexual harassment thing um, and gender. It, yeah, it's just it's issues upon issues that I think it just swept under the carpet. So, no, it's definitely more frequent than not. Right, George, thank you very much indeed for your time and please head off to class. We really yeah. appreciate it. So that's the view from uh, one student uh, here on campus uh, saying that it hasn't really uh, divided students, but it has left uh, quite a number of them uh, shocked. I don't know if you have uh, more time for me, uh, Mfundo, but I would like to bring one more guest uh, to just chat to us uh, briefly on the events that have taken place here. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, first, first of all, just explain to us uh, what has taken place here. Yes, uh, it, as is, it has been trending on social media um, that there was a student who then went to a room of another student, uh, a student, a black student, but it was a white student who went there and uh, I don't know what happened, but he decided to just uh, pee on the study material of that particular student. And then, uh, in the early hours of Sunday, then uh, that particular student reported to the leadership of SASCO that such thing has happened. Then uh, SASCO took it uh, to structures of the university so that it can be more uh, much of attention around the, the same matter, as we call it, a, a racist act. Fundo has, sorry, not Fundo, uh, Sufiso, has the university dealt with this matter properly? 
are there still issues of transformation within this institution? Uh, on this particular matter, yes, I can say they, res they respond through the university is so positive. However, from the side of students is that they are not so much uh, uh, enough when they are going to suspend that student, but they want the student to be expelled from the university. But in terms of transformation, yes, there is a slow shift uh, compared to what Stellenbosch has been the past few years uh, and now. Uh, I can say there is a sense of transformation as much as it's so slow. Yeah. Lastly, can we expect the situation to remain calm because it does look that it's very calm despite us receiving quite a number of uh, messages saying that people will be out here in protest? Uh, for today, you, I can assure you that you can actually expect uh, that the campus will be just a normal campus, but uh, students are mobilizing themselves for Thursday. Uh, to go back to admin to meet with the management. So a lot of activities around campus will happen on Thursday uh, on the side of students. For now, we're just taking care of the victim himself because we want to make sure that he attends psychologist because we're preparing for exam as much as it coming next week. So we want to make sure that by that time when it comes, he's prepared and ready. Uh, there's no distraction around him. So for now, I can assure you that today there's nothing much that is going to happen. However, uh, students are just mobilizing each other for Thursday. Right. Thank you very much indeed, Sefiso, for your time. That was Sefiso Zungu, is the provincial conv convener of Sasko. We will also be speaking uh, to the victim uh, at around 1 o'clock. He's still in class, but he has uh, uh, granted us permission to speak to him at around 1 o'clock. All right. We'll most certainly catch up with you when you have that interview. It's important to find out how he, in fact, is doing because it has been a very traumatic incident. Ronald, thank you very much. For